Mason T. Williams coming towards y'all live again from a North American Sesquist Tracky Yahoo over down up there live from Boga Lucy Luciana down up from there, Boga Art. Hold Mason gonna get back into the series here where he straightening things out by the set scratches having been how what done told the ninjas trade secrets to the martial arts down up for now. Now the first thing we gonna let y'all know down up from here today, you may ask yourself. You might want to ask your Mason down here right now. Mason Bogart, how does one know? How you supposed to know if you in a legitimate, a legitimate martial art Mac dojo down there or someplace passing themselves off as a Mac dojo down up in there? Mason going to teach y'all how to do it right now, right now. First thing we're going to do is show y'all something y'all need to take a look at. Hold on right there. Y'all look at this right now. Let me show y'all something. Y'all believe that? Did y'all get a, a, a good look at that right now? Imagine something. The last time... You heard a fella who called himself a master in a McDojo down there, supposed to be a McDojo, saying he going to teach y'all about self-control, discipline, so well. I imagine something. Wouldn't he have to know what self-control was? What some discipline was, by God? Well, I can tell you what. That fellow how what you been done sold up in that picture right there is fellow how what got more self-control and discipline than anybody you ever seen in your life. Yo sure do. So sure do. How much self-control? And how much discipline do you believe it takes for somebody to eat that much boxes of Kraft macaroni and cheese and jars of mayonnaise to build a fuzzy looking like that right there? Now, y'all may be asking me, Mason, what do this got to do with the Sasquatch ninjas? But by God, when y'all see a master in a Mac Dojo, that got a pot belly on him so big he got to bring a mirror with him to go peace and make sure he don't wet his shoes down there. You can be sure him family tree go all the way up through the ninjas into the Sasquatches by God. Clearly, clearly a fella who's a master in the McDojo and look like he swallowed a pumpkin seed Ain't never been spending much time doing push-ups and sit-ups and such. So let me ask you this. Have you ever seen pictures? Have you ever seen videos of a sad sketch? Doing push-ups and sit-ups and pull-ups and jogging and such like that? No, you sure ain't. You sure ain't. So what I'm trying to tell you is when you walk into a place, if you want to know if it's a legitimate, a legitimate Mac Dojo, look at that master up there now. Now, if that fella look like he swallowed a pumpkin seed or if he's about to have triplets before your first lesson's over, hoes, you's in the Mac Dojo down up there now, you sure is. We gonna come back here again real soon, teach y'all another lesson. This one gonna be on how y'all know y'all didn't admit doji lesson too. Joe is.